everybody. So I've been working with a lot of blues. I'm not sure if this is upside down. I think I can't even remember. Yeah, this is upside down. I've had to move everything around, try to accommodate to, because I <laughs> I've had so many commissions. I like every table is full, every slot is full of drying rack. This is still drying. Had some leftover blue paint. It's sitting already in cups that I didn't need. So, voila! Beautiful waves picture. I have done about five beach pictures in the past uh, couple of, I'll say past week, about five of them. And then I had a pulled muscle in my neck, so I wasn't able to move. But I had done what, probably like 14 paintings last week. I am working on making a Christmas tree topper. I've got a lot of sanding to do. There's glue and there's wood putty. It's starting to starting to dry. But this is my house. I had to put a chair here so I don't plow into it and break the stick off. <laughs> working on it, working on it, working on it. I've had to take my cart and use that to put the camera stand on because I had the table, my camera table is holding a painting in the other room so I just <laughs> that my everything is chaos right now I've got my drying rack over here I had to move fences to keep the dogs out of uh, building a cabinet over there <sighs> replacing cupboards and cabinets as they get old and today's project I actually started on painting the edges a little bit because I was working on the black it was a little I accidentally put too much water in it, it was too thin so then I had to add more paint to it. Oops, let me get that on the camera. So that's a pretty good consistency right there. Hopefully for the Dutch pour, it might need it might need to be thin, but I don't want to mess with the opac opacity of it. And it's too thin there. So I've got two cups of black paint. We have permanent red violet that's a Amsterdam I've got permanent red which is master's touch pink tourmaline which is art deco and then my gold is actually made up of a couple of different lighter golds and I throw some bronze in it and antique gold to give it the color I like so that's uh if I can get the camera roll so hopefully my paints are thinned enough for a Dutch pour oh, that looked terrible Yep, these may have thickened up a little bit. So I'm going to have to go through and retouch them just a little. That's more what I want. That's more what I want. Metallics tend to thicken, I think. And I, I mixed a lot of these with the mix. So they're even thicker. The gold looks like maybe the only one I have to work on. The red is the only one I didn't put any water in when I set these out earlier. And now it looks like that was a mistake so I may have to add some water to that one and that permanent red violet perfect okay so just gotta touch up a little bit of my consistencies Dutch pours uh, they're there if you have the consistency right they come out perfect if the consistency is right then not right then whoo and I had stored my, my black paint I had mixed it in here now this mix uh, pouring medium is fantastic. I happen to be out of it. I do reuse my bottles. Like I said to mix big old jugs of paint. This one had black in it. Uh, <laughs> I ordered more of the mix. I've already went through a gallon and a half. I ordered another gallon and a half. I love it. It's but it is thicker. So some of these paints that I mixed with uh, with the mix, I had to thin down quite a bit because they are super thick when it comes out. No, actually, I think the gold, I actually mixed this with Floetrol. Oh, see, that's a little bit better of a roll there. Still. Okay, got to fix them. Touch them up. I will be right back. Hi, everybody. Here's some finished paintings that I've got. That one took me hours and hours. Very painstaking to get all the... There was the crocodile ones in there so then I added to make more by hand oh it took forever but it looked really cool I like it this is one of the first ones I painted this blob actually started off very tiny I stretched it that big but what I really liked was all the stuff that was going on in the center but it still looks like a blob to me so <laughs> but it's got some really cool cell natural cell action that's from the flow trawl 
This is my one of my favorite ones, my first dip. I actually has, did seal that with Bright Tone. This one's also got the Bright Tone sealer on it. So these are actually waterproofed. <laughs> Bright Tone instrument sealer. I love it. I also have that on here. I wanted to learn how to use it. This one, I actually uh, did a different, I just knocked it off kilter. I did a, a flicking with the silicone to bring that out. So everything with silicone, which also the little polka dotty one, that one had silicone in it as well. Just require a lot of cleaning. This was my actually my first string pull. I've not gotten another string pull to work as well as this first one that I did. So those are these ones. And actually these two blue ones, these two are actually already sold. They just have not gone to their new home yet. And I was working on Dutch pour on this one and there's also bright tone on it because it's practice pieces if I don't like something I do practice on it or if I really like it I'll, I might practice on it uh, this pink one here is not for sale that's my dog Frito's favorite painting he loves this and he stares at it and I did mess it up and got some like gesso flicked all over it <laughs> but it works with it and if, like I said my dog loves that so that one stays I have the space flower. This one is for sale. It's got some really cool stuff going on. It's got like nebulas in here. I really, really love this painting. I'm going to hate to see this one go. I do love it. And this one's got some embellishments. This is like a tiger lily. This was a Halloween pour I did. This one has got bright tone on it as well. This one has also got bright tone. It's all metallics. This is all metallics. It's bronzes, golds, and then there's a little bit, I think, of uh, dark brown or black in there. And this is all metallics as well. It's just like tornado. This one is not sealed with bright tone. This one is just a, a spray varnish on that. And where are we going over here? We've got we've got a lily. And we've got a Frito. I got cat hair on my hand and my phone. And then I have this little teeny tiny little blue one. And a little tiny little teeny tiny little pink one. And then this one, this one is so awesome. And then when it was in the drying rack, I got it got a little smoosh. So it bought out gold though. So it's not a loss, but it is one of my discounted because of that little snafu in there. But this one is a spray varnish as well. I love the flowers. I love the flowers. And I have lots of wall space to finish. So, pooches. Pooches. Pooches are going to get ready to help me paint. Hi, everybody. It's nice to be back. Oh, I forgot my apron. I need my apron. I don't have my apron on, I end up getting my boobs entirely soaked with paint. <laughs> I've been doing that lately, painting without my apron, forgetting, and oops, painting my boobs two days in a row, washing my boobs in the sink. <laughs> oh, so it's Friday the 13th, it's been adventure day around here, uh, I'm not sure what happened, I was just getting ready to paint, I had to mix my paints down, got everything ready, and... I come out here and there's poop smeared from one end of the house all the way to the other. And I checked everybody's feet. I checked my slippers. I don't know where it came from, but there was literally poop smeared. So my floor is wet. So my job right now is to paint and try not to fall down. <laughs> Slippery floor equals Michelle on the floor. So uh, I had to mix up some more black paint. So I've got two cups of it in my two cups silicone cup love these because then I don't have to wash them. I can let the paint dry and just peel it off. And I've got permanent red violet. Permanent red. Pink tourmaline. My special gold that I make myself out of a bunch of different, different metallic colors. 
and then this is iris now most of these are mixed with the mix some stuff is mixed with like the black i believe is liquitex speaking of black i need gloves black sticks to your hands like no other paint <laughs> And I've got enough paint already on my hands that don't want to come off from earlier that I don't want to have it. I really need gloves that go all the way up to here because I end up getting paint everywhere. <sighs> yep. <laughs> and I get too warm so I don't want to wear long sleeves because then I'm sweating to death. So my canvas is level. I'm actually working with a 16 by 20 today. Wanted to work on my Dutch pour because I feel like my Dutch pour needs work. I went ahead and painted the edges while I was mixing to get my consistency because I had it, at first it was too thick and then it was too thin and I had to add some paint and thicken it up and make it right. So hopefully we are not going to be too thick here. Now, I wanted to see, because this will help me with my consistency, check if I'm too thick, too thin, blah, blah, blah. My two hickeys gone. <laughs> ah. Sorry. <laughs> I needed to get the end. <laughs> My setup is all wonky right now because I'm out of tables. I've had so many commission jobs that I've got tables everywhere, all of my normal stuff taken up. Well, I guess it's thin enough. <laughs> It is quite a bit quicker to do it this way. <laughs> I'm used to the old fashioned way of spreading it around. new for me <laughs> and I already painted my edges so I'm just going to smooth this across it I should have grabbed a piece of paper towel with black right and I grab like 800 paper towels oh I knew better 
Normally I have them all like lined up like some kind of OCD freak over here. Now I got black splatter everywhere. I'm sure it's all over my floor, which I just washed and I'm wash again. <sighs> oh well, it is what it is. I used a lot less paint doing it this way. So I'm happy about that. I did make a ginormous mess. I'm not happy about that. Trying to get these bubbles out. They're not too bad, but considering I did just mix the black up. God, I want to get the floor. Okay, well, that was an absolute disaster and a mess. I decided I needed to get the floor before the black paint dried. That was pretty smart of me. Oh my God, did that really ever splatter? If I'm going to do that, I need to cover the floors. <laughs> I used a lot less paint, but boy. So I had to hurt and wash the floor again, Friday the 13th. Wash the floor twice. All right. All right, so I've been thinking about how I wanted to do this all day. Do I want typical? Do I want to do something different? Do something a little different. Why not, you know? Why not? Painting is always an experiment. It's part of what I love about it. You never you kinda don't always know what's gonna what's gonna happen, so Especially if it's something you've never tried before. It's metallic, so I'm gonna alter these two. Alternate them. Like I did with the first couple. Alternate, alternate, alternate. So that way, when it blows up, you still have the colors. It's a good chance of them all actually coming in together. So. Okay, so not sure like what's gonna happen here, but it's a good chance we got something cool that's gonna happen. Good chance. Alright. I think we got plenty enough paints. Hopefully I don't splatter it across my kitchen again. Now the pink tourmaline is a metallic as well as the gold. The rest are not metallics. All right. I'm not gonna turn this up as high as I had it the last time.
Well, I don't like how that sprayed out at all. <laughs> oh, it's blocking the way. This is the only problem I have. My little hairs keep getting into paint. <laughs> I'm trying to get away from using my straw. It did lopsided a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little upset about that. It's got some cool stuff going though, so I'm trying to fix it. <laughs> Actually, I almost want to take some of this out and put some black in there. <laughs> I was having an idea. Ooh, what the heck just like clumped out of there? I don't know. <laughs> That's gross. A little bit of that black back in there. This, however, I'm a little upset with.
I'm still thinking if it needs anything. Now I added in a little bit of the negative space that I was losing. I think I'm pretty okay with it, how it's turned out. So I had to add a little bit of negative space back in because I just always, I know I overdo it. So I'm trying to learn to be more minimal. Trying not to stick my boobs in it. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. All right.
Come stop blowing. It's got a lot of cells. I'm like super happy with that. And no silicone in any of my paints. It's just a side effect of brush pouring. This is <laughs> veins, it's got cells, it's got shimmer. Oh, this is like actually pretty stunning. I'm really excited with it, but if they did, I was talking about it. So Liam can't, I'm Canadian. I'm using the straw because I'm afraid of sticking my boobs in it. Don't turn. Alright, stop messing with it. Tis beauteous. Tis beauteous. Just touch this little part where I know I probably dipped myself into it. <laughs> oh, at least it wasn't my whole boob this time. I actually really like this. Oh, get some, there's, there's some veins and stuff in here. It's really cool. Hopefully it stays the way it is. And no muss, no fuss, right? So I was so much blue as I needed some other colors in my life so I will take some pictures post them up thank you so much for watching and giving me some of your time it is much appreciated thank you so much bye everybody see you next time